83, 84, 85, 86, find your favorite TV show when you do this for a while, 87, or a radio program, 88, or a podcast, 89, and 90. So, 90th wrap is on there. I'm going to hold it up next to the finished mallet to compare it. Now you can see that the mallet that I'm wrapping, this one, is a little bit taller than the mallet that's finished. That's fine because the stitching actually pulls the bottom and the top of the mallet in. So the fact that this, is a, this one's a little bit taller is just fine. I'm going to check their circumference. Circumference looks pretty much the same. They're pretty good. Um, I'm going to untangle this here. There's a hole there, which is what we need, and so having tie, having wrapped the 90th wrap, I'm gonna t I'm gonna tie another uh, knot around the shaft, just like I did at the beginning, and I'm just gonna do that by making a loop of yarn, putting the mallet head through, and pulling it, which I like to do at this point because now this means that even if I let go of the mallet and let go of the yarn, nothing comes undone. So you're gonna having done that. You're going to take about, I, I like to take three feet of the yarn, which leaves me plenty of extra, and you're going to cut. So now you have an unstitched mallet with about three feet of yarn coming off of it. And this is where you find your needle, and you thread the needle th with the yarn. And hopefully you get it on the first try because you're being videotaped. And there. There it is. I've got a yarn needle, three feet of yarn, and an unstitched mallet right here. And I'm going to start by stitching the bottom. And to do that, uh, let's see, how can we do this so you can see? You're going to start by taking the needle going under... Hmm, try this. Going under the bottom of the mallet, and then about between a, a, a quarter of an inch and a half an inch up through the mallet head. You're going to run the needle just like that, and then pull it through. So now, don't be afraid, but the yarn is now coming out the bottom portion of the mallet head itself. And you're going to keep on doing that all the way around the bottom. So the next stitch is going to be a little bit over. Same thing, you're going to go in with the needle right at the base of the handle where it's exposed. You're going to come out, like I said, anywhere from a quarter of an inch to a half an inch up the mallet head. There it is, coming out right, oh, there, okay. Push it through. And you don't have to pull it super tight, but you want to pull it tight. And I'm going to see if you can right there is the first stitch. And we're going to go all the way around the bottom of the mallet like that. Once you get good at it, it doesn't take very long. Um, and if you're, if you're spacing your wraps at even distances, it should be fairly easy to have good even stitching around the bottom of the mallet. But really, if the stitching is uneven, that's just a cosmetic thing. The stitching is there so that if an outside strand breaks, and it will, when it breaks, it doesn't unravel the whole mallet. It just goes to the bottom of the head, it hits a stitch, and it stays there. That's really all you're doing. And I'm going to go, I'm going to continue all the way around the bottom of this mallet and come back in a minute. 